You've heard of Kendrick Lamar, Beyonce, and Ye. But do you know who influenced these stars? In honor of Black History Month, an annual commemoration of African American achievements, here are the various artistic movements that shaped African American culture, propelled by centuries of oppression and in response to the lasting impact of slavery. We begin in the 1920s to 30s, which saw the rise of the Black or Harlem Renaissance, also known as the New Negro Movement, which thrust African-American artistic expression to the international stage. As one of its names implies, it was born in the Harlem neighborhood of New York, which has since become a cornerstone of African-American artistic culture, particularly via its literature movement. Ultimately, it helped pave the way for the civil rights movement and was accompanied by the beginning of the Great Migration, the mass migration of African Americans northward from the South in pursuit of better lives, or even the American dream. This ushered in a rising literacy rate, with national organizations centering around the civil rights and monetary empowerment of Black Americans. Artists born out of this revival were Augusta Savage, Horace Pippin, and Archibald Motley. This renaissance went hand in hand with the advent of the Jazz Age, a combination of African and European musical traditions born in New Orleans in the 19th century. It was a product of its time, emerging as a result of slavery. You see, African Americans wanted to move away from classical music, which they associated with the slavery era, as well as the segregation and institutional racism that followed. And so, they incorporated African tunes into European harmonies and instruments. Most previously, enslaved African Americans hailed from West Africa, so they took inspiration from their cultural tribal sounds, ultimately channeling their pain, rage, and even joy into their unique cocktail of music. The movement fused features of the blues and ragtime, along with other elements from the plantation culture, like work song, hymns, and even music from funeral processions. Jazz music underwent an explosion in popularity during the Roaring Twenties after World War I, quickly spreading outside America. And now, many global citizens have heard some form of it, whether in a jazz club, in an elevator, or via local interpretations of jazz. Jazz musicians such as the band leader Duke Ellington or trumpeter Louis Armstrong helped enrich and nurture the Harlem Renaissance. Another movement that marked a keystone of Black cultural expression is the Black Arts Movement, which began flourishing between the 1960s and 1970s in the tale of the Black Power Movement. It has its roots in Harlem Theatre. It was kicked off after the assassination of Malcolm X, when the Black Power Movement split into two. One camp considered themselves revolutionary nationalists, exemplified by the Marxist-Leninist Black Panther Party, while the other group leaned towards cultural nationalism, that is, the promotion of the creation of literature, sonic and visual arts, and theater influenced by Black history and culture. To understand its impact, consider big-ticket movies like The Color Purple and Beloved. Alice Walker and Toni Morrison wrote the films, and both are writers who were influenced by the movement. Then there's also Maya Angelou, another key figure of the movement, who was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2011 for her contribution to American culture. Let's not forget the hip-hop movement, birthplace, the Bronx, in New York City, particularly the poor South Bronx. Its elements, DJing, rapping, graffiti, and b-boying, which involves showcasing the hip-hop style, dance, and attitude. Hip-hop originated in the 1970s as a form of social commentary on race and the treatment of African Americans, and came at a time when speaking about such topics was considered taboo. Thus, the form of artistic expression was originally vilified and denounced, but that didn't stop hip-hop artists from exercising their first Amendment right. Now what you hear is not a test, I'm rapping to the beat. And me. This is the Sugar Hill Gang's Rapper's Delight, the song that boosted rap to national fame. It led to a wave of rap music produced by artists, many of whom are still known, like Run DMC. And Public Enemy, who fused radical black ideology with their music. <laughs> You may have heard this tune by Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. And while it may sound upbeat, its groovy tone belies the gravity of what Grandmaster Flash is rapping about. A harrowing story of life in the inner city, a social commentary message that was pretty unconventional for its time. These artists, in turn, gave birth to the bedrock of classic rap, the Fugees, Wu-Tang Clan, and Missy Elliott, to name a few. 
The Afrofuturism movement differed from all these movements in the sense that it propelled a shift in perspective. The term was coined by cultural critic Mark Derry, who imagined speculative fiction that placed African-American themes and concerns within the context of 20th century technoculture to imagine a better prosthetically enhanced future. In other words, it not only fused science fiction and technology with racial elements, but also went further, imagining scenarios wherein black people were not just free from oppression, but actually empowered. Think of Marvel's Black Panther, Octavia Butler's novels, or the work of British Liberian painter Lena Iris Victor. As for music, there are artists like the iconic Jimi Hendrix, or Sunra, who claims to have originated from the planet Saturn, and is thought to have pioneered the Afrofuturism movement with his fusion of jazz with outer space love. So you can see how, in the last century, these various movements contributed to a sort of domino effect to help shape African-American culture as we know it today. It metastized into a soft power tool to help dismantle the effects of slavery and also empower African-American culture in the face of oppression. So what is your favorite form of African-American artistic expression? 